If the Wright brothers had never imagined a way for us to fly, we would never have an airplane. If Thomas Edison never imagined that there could be a way to turn night bright, there would never be a light bulb. That's the thing. You just need to imagine. Because there is an I am I in that word. Well, not really, but you need to imagine. You're watching Shining B Schools of India. My name is Paris Thomas. Let's go see what I am I has to offer. International Management Institute or IMI was established in 1981 in collaboration with IMI Geneva. Since then, this institute in New Delhi has come a long way. Today, IMI is among the leading B schools of the country. With sprawling residential campuses in Kolkata and Bhuvaneshwar in addition to Delhi. IMI wants to shape the leaders of tomorrow who can make a difference globally. This philosophy is the integral part of the courses the Institute offers. The programs at IMI include Postgraduate Diploma in Management, Executive Postgraduate Diploma in Management, Fellow Programs in Management, Postgraduate Diploma in Human Resource Management, and Postgraduate Diploma for Working Managers. In addition to hundreds of Indian students, these programs attract students from abroad as well. IMI is creating a bright future for students every single year. You know where there is a bright future, there has been a radiant past. I'd like you to meet the alumni of the institute. First of all, when they said we are going to meet the alumni of the institute, I knew you guys were going to be fancy. But this fancy I was not prepared. How has IMI shaped you so tremendously? Well, I'd say that uh, the foundations of uh, any of us uh, started with IMI and the IMI campus now looks bright and vibrant, which wasn't the case when we were there. And we are very proud to be an alumni of IMI. Whatever we are today, I think I can speak on behalf of my friends, uh, we give the credit to the Institute. For me, you know, the, the multicultural aspect that IMI brought in because it was a corporate sponsored B school and we had various nationality people who were within the same class you know. It was a very defining and an important experience. So today when you're at your company, amongst all the various things you probably have learned at IMI, what's the one thing you imply even today? I think uh, uh, one obviously because a lot of things have happened in the last 10-12 years and obviously technology, the, the social network of these uh, individuals. So all of that I'm sure they are using in way of learning and all. But one thing which is for sure, which I see from a student from IMI is that yes, honesty, integrity and ethics is something which we really look for and uh, we, re we are sure that we definitely get from students from IMI. So honesty, integrity and ethics. Who better than the Director General at IMI, Padmasri Dr. Pritam Singh to explain more to us. First of all, the philosophy of IMI itself and the principles is something I've been hearing so much about. So tell me about that. Whenever we talk about anything, either in terms of standard, in terms of processes, in terms of strategies, we always keep in our mind that we are the global school. We are in the business of grooming leaders. What does it really mean to groom leaders in finance, marketing, organizational behavior, operations management? So whatever we teach, we always ask a question that, are we grooming leaders or not? Where does IMI stand with respect to possibly other business schools in India? If you try to see in terms of intellectual capital, if you try to see the kind of people we have got, I think that this is the one school that you ranked as number three in the area of intellectual capital. IMI is the only school which has got AMBA's accreditation for five years. It's a very powerful global body to, to decide, to measure, to, to set the, uh, you know, excellence target. We have also got ACN accreditation. So not only we have got, we have got national accreditation, we have got ACN accreditation, we have got now the global accreditation. And your corporate connect is a big part of the USP because it's corporate funded. It has been the basic DNA of this place because this is the one school which was sponsored by the great icons from the corporate world. world. R.P. Goyandaka has been the great icon, I think not only in this country, so he has been the founding father of this place and all that. And then we had uh, collaboration from ITC, we had the collaboration from Nestle, we had the collaboration from MTC, STC, uh, and we also, uh, uh, NHPC and BHL. So all these people got together 
and they said, aha, let's begin one school which can be a truly global school. Thank you very much, sir. And thanks for coming, Parash. Thank you. Thank you. I love what I've learned. They're not training students for the present. They're training students for the future. And who else to meet right now is the future, the students themselves. All right, I'm with the students. Hello, guys. Hey. Hi. Of course, I understand that you're in the hot seat where everyone really wants to be, right? For you, why did you decide to come to IMI? IMI offered the, the course that I was looking for. And of course, it was a great opportunity to come to India as well. There is a lot happening all around the year. We have a lot of festivals, a lot of celebrations out and out. There, there's, you connect with so many people on so many different levels. It's, 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 it's fascinating and it's, it's really amazing experience. The interface that IMI provides us with the, the, the with companies and with the corporate is really amazing. And you know, not only for not only in terms of placements, but also for sponsorships and for other things that we go to corporate. It really uh, you know gives us a very good interface between corporate and the uh, and college and students. He is dressed up in a suit because he wants to meet the people for placement and the recruiters. It's only fair at this point you go and meet the recruiters as well. In our experience, I think uh, the first thing which really comes very critical for IMI is the value-based grooming of uh, students, you know, which many schools may not have. Second, what we have seen is the high capability of the faculty members. I think that's the essence of any business school and we have been experiencing IMI for many years now. The students at IMI spent three years or two years, depending on which program they are enrolled, and what they learn over here shapes their thinking for the rest of their lives. Corporate world identifies pretty well with IMI because of the matrices and the processes which have been developed in league with the corporate world and the institute. We love to associate with IMI because it provides the thought leadership, it provides the excellent leadership, it also provides the connect with the stakeholder that is the industry and academia as well. One of the many feathers in IMI's cap is an excellent faculty. They're not just great eminent teachers and professors, they're also education veterans. Here they are revealing some excellent facets of IMI. See, there are three things we do and we do them very consciously. The first is industry co-created curriculum. The second is outcome-centric pedagogy. And the third is ahead of the curve thinking. We also try and sensitize the students to social issues by giving them an internship with an NGO, which is uh, almost compulsory for them. We customize the programs according to the requirements of the client, and therefore it becomes more performance oriented towards the organization. It's not just about uh, the fact that we're uh, dealing with top management people, but the interesting thing is we get access into organizations, and because of that access, we learn a lot of new things, and that learning we're able to bring back into the classroom. While most business schools are about high scores, there's something called I-score at IMI which is extremely crucial. It's a blend of your academics, your social service, your sports and your entertainment. Let's go get a taste of all of it. It's a 31-year-old institute, but it is so young at heart. I know that IMI stands for the International Management Institute, but you know what? I think IMI stands for I am inspired. Bye-bye, guys. Go! Woo!